So in this video, we're gonna look at the quotient rule and there's just a rule for finding the derivative when you have a function in the numerator and a function in the denominator. And as you notice, it's very similar to the product rule, but a little bit different. So notice that f of x is the numerator. So notice where it sits in the quotient rule. And notice that g of x is in the denominator and where does it sit in the quotient rule? So we have the derivative of the first times the second, just like we started the product rule, minus the first times the derivative of the second. So that's what's different. There's a minus, which means order matters when you take derivatives. So we have to be very careful that we do the right ones first. And then we're dividing by the denominator squared. Okay, so first example, 2x plus 1 over 3x plus 14, obvious quotient rule here. So the first piece we're going to need is the derivative of each part, which the derivative of the numerator is 2, and the derivative of the denominator is 3. So that means that the derivative of the quotient is the derivative of the numerator times the denominator, so you notice it's kind of a crisscross thing, minus the numerator, which I'm going to write in parentheses, 2x plus 1, times the derivative of the denominator, which I'll just put out front as a 3, and then all over the denominator squared. And that's the key piece that we usually forget. We always forget that denominator squared. So then we simplify the numerator. So we have 6x plus 28 minus 6x minus 3 all over that denominator squared. Notice I'm not multiplying out the denominator. It's going to get us nowhere. But with the numerator being the way it is, it's not either completely factored or completely multiplied out. We just take the road of multiplying it out. So the 6x is, whoops, I got more than I bargained for there. The 6x is cross out, and we end up with 25 over 3x plus 14 squared. And that's as good as it gets. That is the formula for the derivative of that function. So let's try another one. And if you want to try this one on your own, go for it, pause the video, and then when you get back, you'll just see it all being all worked out. So to start this off, I know it's another quotient, so that means I need the derivative of the numerator, which is 16x, and I need the derivative of the denominator, which is 9x squared. So that means that we can write dy dx, or you can write y prime if you want to. Since it's a quotient, I'm going to put a fraction bar here. It's the derivative of the numerator, which is 16x, times the denominator, 3x to the third plus 2, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, all over the denominator squared. And you know, as far as the calculus goes, we have used the calculus, now we're just using algebra. So multiply everything out in the numerator to simplify, we get 48x to the fourth, plus 32x minus 72x to the fourth, all over 3x to the third plus 2 squared. And last but not least, just combine like terms in the numerator. It looks like, I'm just going to write the 32x first. You don't have to, of course, because now we're going to have a minus 24x to the fourth, and that's just to make it look a little bit prettier. And there we have it. Now, at that point, you're pretty much done. But, you know, thinking ahead to future chapters and future ideas, we're going to be setting derivatives equal to zero at some point. So it might be handy to factor the numerator. And this is just an optional step at this point. But I am going to factor out an 8x because that is a common factor. And we're going to be left with 4 minus 3x to the third all over. And again, we didn't touch the denominator. It's already in factored form. So that means we keep that the same. So either one of these two for now would be an acceptable answer. Just realize that later we're going to be wanting to factor, so factoring is going to be kind of something to practice. So thanks again for watching. Next set of videos is going to be about the chain rule, so won't that be fun? Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.